I tell that I didn't sleep even a wink. Son. Do you guys see my teeth? Mm hmm. I'm drawing all my teeth because I think the last time we spoke um, was when I was at the dentist. And yeah, <laughs> I never talked to you guys. Actually, it was yesterday you know not me talking like it was like a long time ago or something it was just yesterday but a lot happened um from then till now because when i'm in pretoria i had to travel to pretoria i'm at my friend's place Leanda. i had to travel to pretoria because of school issues um yeah and the craziest thing happened but i don't want to disclose that as of yet because i still don't know what i'm gonna do about it i still don't know what decision i'm gonna make you know and stuff like that but yeah and just know that today i was also supposed to be in durban but i'm not <laughs> my life is just slowly but surely Gisana, and yeah it's draining training training but um it's cool man just wanted to pop in yeah show you guys my teeth because i'm kind of happy i'm afraid it's, it's, it's too bright you guys can't really tell but i was feeling in my 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 front teeth i had fillers previously that i got like i think eight years ago so there were old so i had to change them and i did and i'm so happy skin not skinning problems matata too much bias and mm -mm. but um i don't know when i'm gonna talk to you guys again i don't know <laughs> bye guys, bye, bye, boy. this is not an intro okay but hi guys welcome back to another part of the vlog um i hope you are subscribed as you are here right now but i love the last time i spoke to you guys was yesterday later when i was getting my hair done um but right now it's ripped up and i'm not sure whether i showed you guys or not but i just got some knotless braids short ones and they have curls at the end yeah i don't really like how they came out no it's not what i was going for like it's not what i wanted but it's what i got unfortunately but that's okay that's the list of my problems Girl, i'm so stressed i'm so stressed but it's good stress if i may say you know it's progressive stress if i may put it like that but yeah um i want to talk about something here um something something very important since um it's one of the very stressful sorry my camera is skewed yeah that's fine that's better yeah since it's one of the most stressful times of the year you know my trick results are out you know varsities are open late applications I closed you know orientation is done um yeah but private colleges are still open yeah i think so but most of the universities or higher institutions are closed now and there are still people who are still at home just like me <laughs> yeah 
um there are still people who do not know what they're going to do you know this year for the whole year or uh what can they do so that they don't be sitting the whole year you know so i want to talk about that okay specifically i want to talk about metric rewriting because that's what i was doing last year and i'm so grateful that i had that opportunity to actually um upgrade upgrade my results so this is what happened like a very short um storyline of mine i matriculated in 2022 right yeah i got um my results i got a, a bachelor with a distinction but i just didn't like it you know because it wasn't going to get me the course that i wanted so i was like yeah i don't want to do a course that i don't want yes it's a it's a b which is a good thing and it even has a distinction my guy like you know i was supposed to just be happy and go to varsity as they said but i chose to upgrade my results so last year which was 2023 i was upgrading my results you know and then this year i got my results and yes I got what I wanted and I got accepted um, in the course that I want. So yeah, I'm sitting at home, but my school things are still kind of okay. You know, I'm still looking for accommodation and stuff like that. There's a lot to be done and what's whatsoever. But I have been accepted and I am registered to an institution. Which institution, you may ask? You guys will have to wait and see on the next vlog because i will be doing um a move into risk with me because i think this video is like a prep with me you know maintenance prep for uni type of vibe but the next one is definitely going to be a move in with me to to university i'm not gonna say risk because I, i'm not yet sure i will be staying at risk or uh at a private place i don't know so yeah let's talk about this okay i'm gonna break this whole thing into two parts right um first one the first one is going to be if you wanna um rewrite in june and then the second one is if you wanna rewrite in december and write like the paper that every great of south africans be writing okay fine so let's say you want to rewrite, you know, you have made the decision to upgrade, you know, upgrade the results, but you don't want to go back to school. Like you, you just want to upgrade those subjects that you feel like you, you need to progress in. Cool. And you've made the decision that you want to write June, which I advise you to do that. I, I advise you, but probably not at the same time. But it's really up to you, you know. The good thing about uh, writing in June is that you have a limited time. So you, you won't be as free. You won't have this mentality in your head that you have the whole year to do this. And you don't have as much work to do so you can chill, you know, you know. And all of that because that will only set you back and you might not even reach your marks, you know, the marks that you want. But the bad part is, it's not even that bad, eh? Is the fact that they say um the exams in june are a bit hard and whatsoever if i'm being honest it's the same thing it is the same thing because if you check the past papers it's the same thing guys it's the same thing but let's say you have made that decision to rewrite in in june okay this is what you have to be careful of this is what you have to have in mind and this is what you have to consider okay it doesn't matter whether you're studying on your uh, on your cell on your own or you are registered with the school whatsoever whatsoever one thing you have to be sure of is that after writing in june and then you you get your results you have to join your statements if okay if you get your results and you actually notice that you upgraded like your marks have improved and you want to keep those marks in your statement you have to join your statement that's very important guys before anything join your statement before they start registering grade 12 to write for november because if you don't combine statements they won't consider 
those marks after grade 12 have registered to write exams like their november exams so that's very important how do you do that you just go to your other district i think it's your district if you are in what is this municipality or circuit if you're in Amsterdam, Sekids, or Msugali, I think the district that we use is Amelo. So you just go there and then you apply to combine your statements and they will tell you whether you qualify or not. What determines whether you qualify or not? Um, it's the fact that you have you improved on your results. If you have, you're just going to qualify. But if you haven't, you might not qualify, which is not that much of a big deal. Who would run to degrade their statement okay cool that's it that's it no panic nothing nothing hard actually but there is this one question that i get like a lot is this one do you i have a choice um let me say do you actually why am i talking about myself do you have a choice to to choose let's say you're upgrading maybe three subjects you know and then you decided to write in june you write all three subjects and then you progress in one and then the others you don't do so well do you have the choice to take this one subject and add it to your statement and leave the others yes you do have that choice you can take that one subject and add it to your original statement like apply for a combination and then leave the other two and then go back and study and register to write in november get that it's very simple guys it's very simple it's not as ugh, it's not as hard and as bad as people make it seem it's very simple guys and vice versa you know even if you write in november you can still do the same in january you can still choose which um subjects you want to take and which one you you don't want to take and and whatsoever the, the important thing here is to do everything on time you know that's the only problem another thing that you can do is maybe if you want to upgrade um let's say four subjects um you can register to write maybe two of them in june and then write the other two in november so that you make your workload a little bit less especially if you know that you can grasp the whole content in like uh five months four months you can do that as well and that is not a problem have i covered everything i'm not sure guys Oopsies. okay have i covered everything like I'm actually clipping off my nails. I'm taking them off, guys. School time, crunch time. There's no time for nails. No time for nails. But yeah, I think I've covered everything, guys. I think I have. If you have, if you still have um, any questions, just leave them on the comment section and I'll make sure to answer you. Whether I will answer you on the comment section or I will answer you in the next vlog but i uh, i don't think i'll be able to make like a designated video on this topic guys unfortunately unfortunately but that's fine so yeah mm -hmm.